Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? I'm back with another video today, and today we're going to be going over the upcoming week of Madden 21 content. You guys know I love to make this video on Sundays. This is like the perfect day to go over content that is going to be up for the upcoming week now. It's going to be a little bit of a different week because we potentially may be getting Christmas promo this week because typically the Christmas promo leads up to the 25th. Now, it goes beyond the 25th all the way through the month of December to the 31st. But considering the fact that Christmas is one of the biggest days of the Christmas promos, like present-wise, which I'll get into, typically, it starts a little bit earlier in the month because you're kind of leading up to the climax of Christmas and then slowly falling off for the rest of the month. So it's not like other promos like Blitz, which goes like, you know, it's the end of the month or Thanksgiving, which is the end of the month. This one's literally on the 25th and then Christmas Eve is the 24th. And most presents start opening up the 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th. So for that to all work out, you kind of have to... Started a bit earlier, so this week, starting tomorrow, will be the 7th, which means the week goes through to about the 14th-ish. So it makes sense that it's possible we do see this at week's end, or at least an announcement or a special stream towards it, maybe like a Sunday stream for a Monday promo. But for today's Poodle Squad shout-out, we do have Richard Quillen, shout-out to me for being part of the Poodle Squad. Thanks so much for showing support in each and every video. If you guys have any coins for this week's content, head over to my reserve down below. Use code Poodle for 15% off your order. Take advantage, we will have Christmas discounts, and I think Blitz discounts are still going on, so take advantage of that as well. But yeah, let's get into this. So, first off, today's Sunday. We got nothing going on today. Just this video. But moving on, what do we have tomorrow? Tomorrow we're going to have Team of the Week predictions. As per usual, you know, we watch the Sunday games. And then, of course, we do do our Team of the Week predictions for tomorrow. 12, Week 11, Week 10, as you see here. They are 92 overalls for the base. Obviously, 93 for the LTD. And then Week 11 is 92 for the base, 93 for the LTD. Week 10 follows the same pattern here. And then, as you see here, Week 9 does also follow the 92 overall pattern. And then coming on to Week 8... We do have 91, so that does mean we already have four weeks of 92 overalls. So I think next team of the week will finally be 93 overalls, which again, like I said, with Legends finally being 95s, I think it's messed up this up team of the week's 92s because of the fact that it's just that Legends at 95 are going to be meta, but team of the week's 92 will not be. So team of the week's finally being a 93 is going to be a lot better. And then 94 for the LTD. I think it should be even one more higher, but they're a little behind on that one, but it is what it is. So next week, I do expect us to see... Oh, I should say tomorrow in our predictions, we'll be predicting 93 to 94. It's got to be, I doubt, the goal fifth the week because these players are already falling behind a pretty decent amount. But moving on from there for the Tuesday stuff, we do have the actual team of the week drop. So that's going to be the Tuesday content. Monday, again, probably nothing, just the predictions. Wednesday, we have wildcard Wednesday now. I think we're finally going to be getting some power-ups. They did hint in the stream like a week or two ago. I remember them saying that power-ups will be coming for certain players. So it's got to be wildcard Wednesday. They did campus heroes this week, which obviously better than power-ups, but... I think they will be alternating for power-ups this week. Um, potentially flashbacks and other stuff, but I think we'll definitely be taking... I'll take some power-ups. It's time to get some power-ups back in the game. Consider we haven't gotten a power-up or a new batch of power-ups in quite a while. Now, moving on from that, guys, at Thursday. As per usual, we get the LTDs for Thursday. Now, the LTDs are getting really, really good. Like, weekly, there's not really much complaints about these LTDs. To show you guys what I'm talking about here. The LTDs continuously get, keep getting better. And like I said, they're even better than the Team of the Weeks. Which is sad because I feel like the weekly, weekly team of the week content should be some of the most, it's one of the most fun content drops, but it just isn't the best content drop. And that's just because of the, the rankings, but there's so much potential with the two flashbacks, the LTD flashback, the um, the current week one. But as you guys see here, we go to the bottom here, let's see what we got new. One of the newest guys we did just get was like Kareem Jackson. Now Kareem Jackson may not be the flashiest name, may not be something that you think you want, but overall the stats are good, like he can play within the meta, I don't think he's dominant. But he can play within it now. There's other weeks we get guys like Saquon Barkley who are just insane. We get great linemen weekly. Even guys that we don't need like bad positions, we still find a use for them just because of how good their stats are. And you know, like there's a bunch of linemen here that like are Marquise Pounds that you wouldn't want to buy, but if the price was right, these cards are amazing. Now, like I said, I think now, so we've had multiple weeks of 93. So we have Kareem Jackson, we have Roquan Smith at a 93. So I think next week is going to be the week we hit 94. So these, now that's when they're going to start getting really good again. Because, like, when we near the, I've been calling it, like, the cycle. So, when they first start dropping a new overall, like, 93s, they're insane. Near the end of, like, the fourth week straight of them dropping 93s, it's like, okay, these 93s are okay at this point. So, like I said, Kareem Jackson, Pounce, they're still really good. But once we hit 94, the card's going to be, you know, another tier, another level on most meta teams. So that, that's definitely really good as well. And then, moving on, guys, coming Friday. Now, I'm going to throw in the Christmas promo into this, but not on Friday. I'm going to go on the Sunday, just because I think it'll be near the end of the week. But moving on for Friday... Friday without content 
So of course we do have the LTDs on Thursday, but going on to Friday, 50. So Friday typically we only get the 50 drop, which is just three players. As per usual, nothing really changes there with that. Um, the 50, in my opinion, again, needs another... The, the overalls are good, right? We just finally got 94 overalls. But I want to see some banger players drop, like a Randy Moss. We've had like some good ones like Rodgers. We've had a few guys that have dropped to Calvin. But like Calvin, again, people really didn't take well to, surprisingly. But we need a Moss. Like Moss is one of the guys I feel like we're missing with the 50. And there's a few other players, obviously, beyond that we need. The Moss is definitely, will definitely be exciting. Will definitely be appreciated. And definitely someone someone's wait, like people are waiting for at this point. Now, as far as the 94s, which just got dropped, which would be right here, it is going to be Shane Leckler, Roger, and they are super cheap. It's unbelievable, and Ray Lewis. Now, we have so many quarterbacks at this point. No more quarterbacks. Like, if you're going to drop a quarterback, it's fine, but just, like, weekly, we're getting too many. But I would like to see another running back. I think I think it's time. Like, the LTD Saquon shouldn't be the best running back in the game. We have all these legend promos. We have the 50. We had a Thanksgiving promo. I think it's time we get a new one there as well. But we'll be getting more 94s this week. That won't be changing. So maybe we can get a running back out of there. I don't know what 50 running back would be great. Maybe Eric Dickerson could be coming. Eric Dickerson and Randy Moss drop would be, would be crazy. But not entirely sure. Next, we got the Legend Week. Now, Legends are 95 overalls now. So that's going to be on Saturday. Now, for the 95 overall Legends, as you see here, 94s are already kind of cheap. And their 95 counterparts are going to fall right around. Let's see. Okay, where are they? 370k for an NFL overall. That is not bad at all. We got Leroy Selman, and then we got um, Jimbo Covert last week. They were solid for it because they're 95 overalls, but if we get some different names there, it could be pretty crazy considering we do get 95 overalls now. Those will be the best cards in the game, especially depending on the name. And then Sunday. Here's where I want to discuss the Christmas promo real quick, so let's head over to that. Gus, so this is the Mutt Zero Chill. This was last year's. Don't get left out in the cold. It's time for Zero Chill Madden NFL 20 Ultimate Team. Assemble team of Pro Bowlers, Hall of Famers with Zero Chill through January 3rd. So yeah, it typically lasts through January 3rd, but the bulk of the promo goes mid-December to the 28th-ish, usually right around there. But the promo is really cool. Now, I don't know when it'll start. I think it could be announced or at least discussed by the end of this week. could start shortly after, but it can't start much later than that because typically we have presents now. The Zero Chill, I don't know what to call it this year. There's been a few Arctic Blast, Zero Chill. There's always some. So Zero Chill, these are the, these are the key points right here. Presents, 12 Days of Mutt Miss, so presents are pretty cool. Presents are probably the most fun part. It's you you pretty much get a currency, like whether it's snowflakes or snowmans, whatever they want to call it this year. And you're able to get like random presents. So the most fun it was probably Madden. I think Madden 19 was the most fun presents. You get it you could just re-roll presents all day, and you'll get a green package, a blue package, a pink package. Now the blue package could be could be horrible. The pink package could be horrible, but the green one could have a Randy Moss 95 overall in there. Now, you pretty much get an idea of which ones are good versus bad because in the community everyone will have that blue one, but then you'll only see like two people with that green one. And you'll start to figure out the rarity. And if you look closely on like Photoshop, you'll see hints on the presence like a Raiders logo to signify like a John Abram or a 49ers logo and like quarterback thing to signify Steve Young. So there's always something pretty cool with those. So presents are typically the most fun part of Zero Trail overall. So definitely excited for that. Then we got the 12 Days of Mutt Miss. It's just special content drops dropping 12 days and special Santa vs. Elf challenge. That was really cool as well. Out of positions are one of the biggest things every year. So, uh, Christmas does bring along players that play out of position like Ben Roethlisberger punter. I think it was Tom Brady. Uh, I'm pretty punt or kicker. We get like running backs at quarterback. We get wide receivers at quarterback like Mohamed Sanu, Julian Edelman. And then we get some really good ones like Sean Taylor at linebacker. So always some fun ones. And then Ghost and Madden's are some of the coolest players too. Throughout Madden, these have been some of the most fun players. It's Ghost and Madden past, which are players that played in the past like Randy Moss, Steve Young, Joe Montana. Ghost and Madden present. These are players who currently are amazing in real life like let's say Saquon Barkley, uh, J.J. Watt, and so on and so forth. You know, Mika Fitzpatrick. Patrick Mahomes, Tyreek Hill, and then there's Ghost of Future. Those are rookies that maybe haven't proved themselves yet, but they look like they're going to have a future in the NFL, so that would be like, you know, Justin Jefferson, but he has proved himself, but still. Um, and then sometimes they use this as an excuse to upgrade rookie premier players, like, you know, maybe a Clyde Edwards Hilaire that they think needs an upgrade, or a rookie premier player that hasn't got a single one, like uh, Xavier McKinney, and so, for, uh, so on and so forth. That pretty much wraps up this, guys. This is the bulk of what the Christmas promo will contain. There'll be plenty of good stuff. There's usually, like, 30 to 50 presents there's so many of those um hopefully that's when we see randy moss that's about it hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video again so for the, the weekly wrap we got team of the week we got flashback uh of wildcard wednesday which i think will be the power up expansions we get the thursday ltds we got the friday 50 we got the legend saturday and then of course sunday i think we might be getting some news by then about the christmas promo um like i said i usually will, i'm hoping that it starts around the 15th 16th and last all the way to 
probably January 3rd again, but most of the promo, that's just when, like, they, they change conversions, but the promo itself goes to, like, the 28th for the most part. But that's about it. Again, if you guys want any coins, head over to Mutt Reserve down below. Use code Poodle 15 percent off your order. Take advantage of the oncoming Christmas discounts. But that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Yeah.